Okay, so what's in the box? Let's open it up and uh, let's see. They always give you the same stuff, same information. Well, here's the Vornado V fan, the vintage edition. I got the ice white, so we're going to open this up and see what we got. Here is your owner's manual right here from Vornado. Very well packaged and it's not damaged because Vornado cares for their customers. They care about their customers. You also get a five-year warranty on this. And as you can see, it's well packaged. a very very small fan and unfortunately right off the bat it doesn't feature the vintage um what do you call it knob in the back that rocker that little metal switch where you you go back and forth i have to show you on the picture they used to have those but unfortunately they did away with those now they just put a modern switch on the back of it which is unfortunate oh well They did do those at first, but I don't know why they changed it from that to a more modern switch. Maybe people was having troubles with that switch, even though it's vintage. But anyways, here we go. Now, they package everything up perfectly, and this is a little protector right here to protect the uh, the prongs on the cord. They really do care about their customers. This is what I was talking about right here, a modern switch as opposed to the one, the rocker switch where you just click back and forth, like what I have on my uh, drum fan. I'm surprised they did away with that. They used to have that on the back. I have to show you a picture of it, but oh well. It is what it is. They put a more modern switch. I guess they wanted to look more modern, even though it's still somewhat... Um, I got that vintage style. So let's see how this little fella do. It is very small. Looks big on camera, but in person it is pretty small. Now, if you up, this is quicker. And 
is two times more absorbent than the leading ordinary brand. Bounty, the quicker picker up. Hey. Be right back, and we're gonna have part two of this video in a one video. So basically, what I'm gonna do is just pause the video, and I'll be right back. Don't be too surprised if you don't feel the oh god, here I go with feel hear the airflow. So the tripod is far away from the fan. Here we go. A little tiny fan, it does move somewhat good air. No wonder they put that modern switch on there, it's just a lot easier to control the fan. Although it would have been way better if they would have kept that vintage switch on there, the one that goes uh, back and forth. But oh well, whatever, they didn't keep that on there. I like the way the camera makes the blade look, moves a decent amount of breeze on though. It's quite loud on high, but it's nothing to write home about. I mean, it's not emotionally loud like the Air King was at first. And let's see how the spin down goes. Spin down time. Yep, I figured that. That's because the oil needs to kick in, needs to break in. Once that happens, it'll get longer. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed it. Tomorrow I have my last and final fan to the collection permanently rule comments about that will get you blocked that's the tpi 12 inch industrial high velocity fan and that will be all and then from there you will just see only the same fans in the collection along with occasional other content hope you enjoyed it rate comment subscribe share love like i'm not the fan man god bless all of y'all and out